Hi, and welcome to the Code Fresh Chronicles Academy Edition. Today, I will show you our new feature around service account. One of the first things we tell our new customer when we onboard them is they should not tie their integration with a human user. So for example, one of the first thing you do is you create a Git integration to basically be able to access Git. And when people start, you know, the first thing they do is whoever is doing it, they're taking their own token to do that. Well, the problem if you tie it with an account, let's say Mary, and in six months, Mary is not with the company anymore for whatever reason, you know, her account typically is going to be disabled. Well, so what does it mean for all your pipeline uh, that need to access Git, either to grab the YAML or to clone a repo that you want to build a service from? You know, if my account is not there, you may not be able to make it work, and it means all your pipeline are not going to work anymore. Well, the same is true for CodeFresh when you want to access it from a remote location, uh, either through the API or through the CLI. So that's why we created service accounts. So let me show you how that works. For the purpose of this demonstration, I created a very simple pipeline and on which I added a demo tags. And I set up permission where the pipeline with a demo tag can only be run by the, um, basically the demo team. So now let's see how I can create my service account. So service account are uh, into the uh, setting page um, available for uh, administrators only and then the service account on the left. So let's add a first service account which is not going to have enough permission. So I'm going to add a read-only one for my read-only team. And as we've seen in the permission, this one doesn't have access to uh, running um, my demo pipeline. And for it to work, of course, I don't assign it as a an admin role. So I've created that service account and now I can generate a key for it. So let's call it read only. And I'm going to give it a pipeline read and read on the build as well. So I generate my Thing, and I'm going to copy it. And for the demo, we're going to use um, the CLI. So, code fresh both create context. So, we'll call it read only dash dash API key and the key I copy based. Okay. Now, let's try to run that pipeline. So, code fresh run demo slash sa which is the name of my pipeline and here i'm getting an error message as expected saying my uh, my key doesn't have permission to execute uh, the pipeline okay so now let's create a new um, I could create a new key, but I want to work with a different team. So that's one of the first things you can do is you can create different service account that you assign to different keys, the same way your user are in different teams. So you can use that to have, you know, different um, token, have different permission and stuff like that. So let's create a new one called demo. And this one, I'm going to put it into my demo team. Let's add, let's repeat. I'm going to generate a new API key called demo. Uh, and I'm going, same thing, to give it a build read, run and read. And I think I need the general as well. Generate key. Okay. And let's create a new context. And my key is going to be that. So I have my new context. It's going to switch automatically to that new context. And now let's call back. Let's run that same pipeline again. 
and this time it should run. And if we go to the build, I should have preparing to start. That's the one I just uh, started from um, from the CLI. So my uh, my pipeline is uh, is running as um, expected. So as you can see, I can create multiple service account with it with you know multiple keys, and you can um, share those keys with you know the different team or put them into uh, into different system. The other thing you can do, which is very convenient, is you can disable any service account very easily without having to delete the key and stuff like that. So um, you know. For whatever the reason, maybe you want to prevent people for a while to send some stuff to the, you know, to the UI, or you want to do an audit, or I don't know. So let's disable this demo one because we know it works. And now, if I try to rerun my pipeline again, as expected, it said the service account is deactivated, and I cannot run it. So that's it for service account. Uh, if you want more information, please have a look to uh, documentation. Uh, give it a try and let us know what you think. Thank you.